Religion is not a subject for discussion for basketball players. Perhaps some of you may be interested to know what his idol professes. In today's video, we're going to discuss episodes when a player changed his religion and its reasons. Religion as well as the church play a big role in Stephen Curry's life. Steph and his family are Catholics, and Curry stated many times the importance of the church in his life. So let's recall some aspects of Steph's life related to the church. Steph met his future wife, Aisha, when he was only 15 years old. The fateful acquaintance happened in the church. They were just friends for a long time until their next meeting in California. In 2011, the couple got married. They have two daughters, Riley and Ryan, and a son, Cannon. You can often find a number combination of 4 to 13 on Curry's sneakers. This is a reference to a quote from the Bible, I can do all things for Christ which strengtheneth me. He also shared a few details about his attitude to religion in his Facebook series Stefan vs. The Game. My faith is tested on the court as much as it is in life, commented Curry on the show. It's the part that always keeps me focused on what I need to do when it comes to my family, when it comes to my job, when it comes to how I treat other people, my appreciation for life and all the good things that happen and how to deal with the bad things that happen. I put the believer first, because this is supposed to be the root of everything that I do as a believer, as a husband, as a father, and on down from there. Faith to me is believing in the unseen and having a conviction that there is a higher power that has given me a purpose to what I am doing on this earth, he added. For me, that is the foundation to how I live my life and how I want to see the world through that lens. Ferdinand Luis Alcindor is the name of a basketball player with the highest number of points in his entire career, who first professed Christianity. The basketball player changed his religion and name at the age of 24, becoming the now famous Kareem Abdul Jabbar. As the legend stated, it was a change of heart, mind, and soul. He no longer wanted to be a pale reflection of what America wanted to see from him. Kareem Abdul Jabbar talked about Islam at the Milwaukee Theater. If you can present the facts in a way that's not threatening and not hostile and show that you have an understanding of what the reality is, people will listen to you and they will appreciate the fact that you're trying to build bridges. Also, Kareem's perception of his religion was influenced by his attitude towards him. While Kareem was growing up and learning to control his 7 feet 2 inches in height body, he was trying to find his nature. He attended Catholic elementary school and Sunday mass. But the Irish Catholics called him a N-word, which was a factor prompting him to walk away from this church. One question that bothered me was how so many people could claim to be devout Christians, yet still justify the brutality they committed against black people, he said. The basketball player felt suppressed and uncomfortable by such cases making him shun the church. The episode with young children in the church was not his only disappointment. Another incident occurred in high school, leaving Kareem shocked. The player showed a poor result in the first half of the game. Though Kareem understood that, he was hurt by the coach's statements and being called the N-word again. His attitude towards his mentor changed for the worse and did not get better anymore. As we mentioned before, religion is not a subject for discussion, but gradually we find various information about some players' religion, for example, Kari Arving, the idol of millions, professes Islam. The fact became world known after the professional athlete took part in Ramadan and firstly declared his religion. All praise is due to God. Allah for this. For me, in terms of my faith and what I believe in, being part of the Muslim community, being committed to Islam, and also just being committed to all races and cultures, religions, just having an understanding and respect. I just want to put that as a foundation. I am taking part in Ramadan with a lot of my Muslim brothers and sisters and it's been an adjustment. It's just being committed to my service to God, Allah, and then continuing on with whatever I'm guided with. I'm just happy to be part of my community and doing the right things. So fasting is definitely part of it. I'm just really blessed and grateful to be taking part in this. Kyrie's contribution to culture and religion for athletes is great. Jamal Finn, an attacking guard playing for Emmanuel College, a dark-skinned Muslim girl who wears a hijab not only in everyday life but also on the court. 
describes Arving's actions on and off the court. As a black Muslim ball player myself who grew up watching Arvin play, I love how he is bringing positive awareness to the religion because he is such a big figure. It makes me really proud and inspires me to not shy from who I am. A Muslim and a black woman ball player who shouldn't have to choose between the things that I am and the things that I love. Christianity has the Catholic, Orthodox and Protestant churches and they have various so-called parts it is worth clarifying and we'll explain why. Dikembe Mutombo professed a religion which is quite unusual for ordinary residents from the States. Man does not fly in the house of Mutombo. Though Adidas ad may sound quite appropriate, but not when it comes to his faith. Mutombo is a Christian Baptist. Baptism is a part of Protestant Christianity. Even for an NBA player, his summary of humanitarian work is remarkable. Too long to list it here. They are particularly popular popular in his home country, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Almighty has plans for us to make a place so we can go on and make a difference. It all has to do with my faith, I am deeply religious. It goes back to my roots, to my mom and my dad, he said. Religion for the basketball and NBA legend was, is and will be a big part of his life. Dikembe visited Jerusalem with tears in his eyes a few years ago. The city and the sacred place that he dreamed of seeing and visiting impressed him greatly. He was thinking about his parents who died before they saw the place they had read about in the Bible. My parents might be gone, but they instilled in me the dream of coming here and I've made it, said X player. I can't believe I'm really here. Did you know that Dwayne Wade's number has its meaning, as well as many other numbers of basketball players in NBA? Well, as you could understand, they have religious meaning. The Miami Heat legend is a very devout man. Dwayne Wade was born in Chicago, Illinois. His parents divorced and he lived with his father and stepmother. His mother was in prison for drug addiction. Later, she started to believe in God and became a minister. Wade is a devout Christian and he chose the number three as it represents the Holy Trinity. He donates 10% of his salary to the church in Chicago. Wade is known for his involvement in several charitable organizations. He founded the Wade World Foundation, which provides social support to local organizations. He continues to live faithfully criticizing drugs and alcohol. He is also a supporter of the St. Jude Children's Study. I am a firm believer in the Bible. I believe everything in there. I am given so much, so giving 10% back to God is nothing to me, he said. Speaking about various parts of Christianity, it is worth remembering one of the Mormon church representatives in the NBA. Jimmer Fredette is one of the brightest representatives of the college and university basketball, but also one of the brightest failures in NBA history. Jimmy's father converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, referred to as the Mormon Church, at the age of 18, while Jimmer's mother professes Catholicism. Parents encourage their children to choose a religion and the basketball player, as well as his brothers and sisters, decided to become members of the Church of Jesus Christ. Elder Gary E. Stevenson included Jimmy in the speech at the General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ in April 2019. Later, Elder Stevenson quoted the basketball player and expressed a great respect to him. I have learned to lean heavily on my knowledge and faith in the truthless of the gospel. This has guided me to be a worthy priesthood holder and above all, a positive example. As the basketball player said, he decided to leave the past behind and is ready to move on. His new stage began with moving to Jerusalem and converting to Judaism a few years ago. The basketball player moved to Israel and played for a local team first and then for Maccabi Tel Aviv in 2016. The player became an Orthodox Jew a few years after ending his NBA career. So he said, it's very intense. You're living your old way of thinking. You're living your old way of action to a new concept. Stoudemire's childhood was difficult, including his father's death when he was only 12 years old. And then news about his family's Jewish-Israeli roots. After learning about his connection to Jewish Israelis, Stoudemire began to read about Judaism and study Jewish history. While playing 
playing basketball in Israel, Studemeyer began to prepare for conversation to Judaism and converted to Judaism in 2020. He mentions that studying at his age is not easy, but despite all the hardships, he believes that he is on the right track. It's just been like a quest for searching for Emmett, searching for truth, the basketball player said. He also added, I am for sure a different person than I was before. That's all for today. Leave your comments and subscribe below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and supporting us. See you. Bye-bye.